Four Midwest Guys presents Hello, good evening, good morning, or whenever we decide to upload this video. Welcome to our, as of right now, untitled award show podcast. My lovely wife is still awake through trying, this whole thing. Trying to stay awake. <laughs> um, this is our Four Midwest Guys show recapping the Golden Globes tonight. So, um, yeah, show just ended here, and we are just going to do a quick little summary. You know, where does this leave everything? What won? What surprise? I didn't. <laughs> Uh, well, it's going to be worse when the Oscars come along. My lovely wife is going to be reading off the winners of tonight. Um, so hopefully this will keep you awake some way. Or... No. No? All right. Well, here we go. Uh, foreign language film was... Is that your handwriting? Parasite? Parasite, okay. yes. She's reading off my handwriting. Um, animated film was Missing Link, which I really think Toy Story 4 should have won. Oh, we'll cover a whole bunch of surprises tonight. <laughs> Speaking of, their next um, score was Joker. I'm not even remotely going to say her name because I'll crucify uh, it. Uh, L- Hilder L- L- Ludwig Gordonson. No, it was Hilder. It was a female. It was, it was Hilder. Hilder Gordon. No, no, that was amazing. Like we have a, a female composer winning. That was awesome. And then song was I'm gonna love me again from Rocket Man by Sir Elton John and Bernie. Bernie Taupin. Yeah. And then, can, am I allowed to say screenplay and all that oh, stuff? Oh, God, okay. yes. You're, you're reading all of them, honey. <laughs> screenplay was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino. Yay. <laughs> Director was Sam Mendes for 1917. Yeah. Which apparently that was kind of a shock for you. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, okay. We'll cover the... Sporting actress was Laura Dern from Marriage Story. Yay. <laughs> uh, supporting actor was Brad Pitt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Very cool. She was really happy about that. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was a very good film. If you haven't <laughs> seen it, go. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, dramatic. Does that say dramatic? Um... Oh, yeah, dramatic actress, actress in a drama. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just. Uh, Brene Zellweger for Judy, which I said <laughs> I called a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, it was basically between her and uh, Scarlett Johansson for actress, and yeah, Brene mm-hmm. Renee, Renee still I'm sorry. kept the momentum. You're, you're doing a movie about Judy Garland yes, in yes. Hollywood. All old Hollywood came out yes, to vote for her. Yes, who's gonna win? <laughs> All of old Hollywood came out to vote for her. <laughs> okay, dramatic actor, um, Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. Joker takes down Kylo Ren. That was fabulous. <laughs> um, comedic or musical actress. actress. Sorry, thank you. He really can't write. I I um, cram it all in on the sides. Like I love this screech. name, by the way. Isn't it Aquafina? <laughs> How cool and easy is that? For the farewell. For the farewell. Sorry. The farewell. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. Sorry. God love you. <clears throat> Look what she endures. Uh, comedic mu- or musical actor was Taryn. Taryn Egerton. Egerton, thank you. You're welcome. For, for Rocket, Rocket Man. Man. Um, <laughs> see, dramatic picture. Oh, sorry. 1917. Yeah, there's a resounding endorsement from you there. <laughs> I'm tired. I have been up at work. I'm sorry. It's all fine. Um, which you're going to go see with a friend of yours or yes, something later I, this week? Yes, I hope to see it. It's going to open Friday wide. Um, we live in one of the smaller markets here, so they don't really care about the pre-Christmas release here. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get it now, and I have to... I'm going to go see it with a friend of mine because Lord knows my nope. lovely wife here said, hey, there's a really well-reviewed war film that's out. <laughs> so comedic musical or musical picture, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won and took that home. Yay. I don't think there's any other awards. Is nope, there? nope, that's it. Uh, it's all TV and TV movie stuff. And <laughs> good Lord, I, I can't keep up with the TV stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all of them in a nutshell. Um Actually, quite a few surprises tonight. Um, 
first one right out the bat was uh, Missing Link, winning animated mm-hmm. film. Like everybody. Yeah, what the crap was that about? It's it's about. I haven't seen it. It's yeah. from the stop motion studio that did uh, Kubo and Two Strings, um, Coraline, and all them. I think this is like the movie that like they got into like some financial situations with. I think that like went under because okay. of this film, but. So yeah. I'm guessing we're going to have to see it at some point. Right? Uh, it's looking that way. Yeah. I mean, if it sneaks this award away from, like, Toy Story 4, Frozen 2. So we literally and... have, what, a month till the Oscars? Yeah. Like, oh. about, yeah, just about. It's, it's the beginning of February, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Academy. It was, like, three weeks of campaigning. You're hurting me here. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I mean, the only thing I could think of is the only three movies that they were up against were sequels. This was just their way of giving a middle finger to all the sequels. Yeah, but one of those sequels was Toy Story 4, which is very nostalgic well, for a yeah, lot of I mean, people. And also a well-reviewed movie, too. Like, they gave the award to Toy Story 3 back in the day, and hell, they even nominated Toy Story 2 for in the comedic picture category. Um, another big surprise, like we discussed, uh, Joker winning score. It was, it was really great seeing a female composer win. Uh, there's very few out there, like very few even get nominated. Rachel Portman's the only one I can think of. Um, hey, Alex, a friend of ours who's a composer, <laughs> how many female composers are out there? Seriously. Yes, yes. Um, the fact that uh, Joker won score over both Randy and Thomas Newman for like Marriage Story in 1917 and... Uh, Hopefully this lady's got her career kind of taken off from Oh, this yeah. Film. I mean, it's funny. It's like... Joker, Joker's a really good score, too, mm-hmm. if you think it about was. it. It was. I yeah. loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, Taron Egerton winning actor in a comedy yeah. over Leonardo DiCaprio. Sorry, buddy. I mean... One more year. One more year to wait. Uh, wasn't your year. Uh, I mean, he won for a Revenant and all, but, geez, they're just going back to the shaft, mm-hmm. uh, you know, shafting DiCaprio thing. And uh, I think probably... All right, we're going to get the two biggest surprises. One of them being uh, the one-two punch from 1917 for director and picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other one, which was the complete shutout of The Irishman. Yeah, that was pretty harsh. Yeah, like nothing for Marty. I mean, what, are we tired um, of gangster films? Is that what we're saying here? You know, what I think it's saying is... That, that book is closed? <laughs> not, not even that. It's the fact that it's, you know, their Netflix had a big showing... Mm-hmm. This was their way, because like uh, Sam Mendes said when he got out there, it's really hard to put movies out in theaters now. Um, so this was their way of awarding a film that well, wasn't made for a streaming service. To be fa- okay, no. To be fair, what Sam Mendes said was it's really hard to put out a film for people that, want, that people will want to go see who doesn't have a big name that, actor right, in it. Big name actor, right? Because I'm sorry 1917 does not. I mean outside of like Benedict Cumberbatch and Colin Firth and like yeah. supporting roles at Very best like you see him in one scene maybe I, which again I haven't seen the film so we'll we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like just the fact that but that the, but the two leads are complete like high school kids, right. maybe 20 somethings who <clears> never <throat> really done anything. Well, it's like what was it um that kid from One Direction in uh, Dunkirk. Yeah. Which I'm, I still couldn't tell who he was in the movie. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it's just that, you know, 1917 winning picture and director, and then uh, Irishman going home empty-handed, mm-hmm. just like, wow. What Speaking is that? of kids, wasn't it really cool to see the kid from uh, Jojo Rabbit just mm-hmm. hanging out with all these oh, yeah, actors, he was, and he was just having a ball? That smile on that, I, that, mm, mm-hmm. that's... That was me about maybe 15 or so years ago. 15? Well, yes, I'm a little jaded now. Um, (laughs) Maybe far back. I mean, just like that look in his eyes, just Mm -hmm. that pure joy. Like if he's there, just like, I was like, I'm here. It's like, you know. And he was nominated for an award. For Best Actor. Seriously, it was amazing. Yeah, so what is that? Where does this leave the race now? Well, DiCaprio is no longer, like, the strong front-runner for Sorry, Best LBC. Actor. Um, I think that goes to... Or where's my... Oh, yeah, I think I think Joaquin Phoenix is now kind of cemented. Yeah. Him. yeah. Joaquin might have cemented himself as, like, the choice for Best Actor this year. Which I said. 
Oh yeah, saw easily. Joker. Yeah, like he was got that award mm-hmm. bag, but that is going to be one awkward best actor speech, though. Mm-hmm. That is going to be weird as hell. Um, best picture is now. Everybody thought it was going to be between Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Irishman, and now this. Nineteen seventy. Yeah, nineteen seventeen. 1970. I mean. Seventy. Seventeen. Yeah. No. 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 There's. Uh, <laughs> no. I said nineteen seventy. <laughs> So tired. Sorry, people. <laughs> um, but yeah, like 1917, just, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be something to, to deal with here. You know, like, it's going to be a stronger runner, you know, and depending on how well it does in the box office the next couple of weeks, like, that could, uh, that could be a very strong front runner for Best Yay. Picture now. Yeah, I love Sam Mendes. It's great. I've, I've been a huge fan of American Beauty for so long. I love Skyfall, and, you know, it's always embarrassed about, you know, it's like, I, telling people I love American Beauty, but now I've got another Sam Mendes film I could jump behind now. So this is great. Um, where else does this leave the race? Um, Joker, stronger possibility to get nominated for score, definitely picture. So I think I think Joker's pretty much going to get a Best Picture nomination yeah. now. Right. Um, what else? Uh, Brad Pitt, mm-hmm. now the front runner, Best Supporting Actor. Same with uh, Laura Dern for Supporting Actress. Um, screenplay. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's uh, probably still in the lead, but uh, we'll, we'll see how how well that holds. Um, best animated film. I got no idea what's going on right now. Yeah. I really don't, and that's fine with me. I love it. I love the surprises. Yeah, bunch of movies to see. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, why why care about awards? Why care about all these films? Like it's just because you know these are they're unique films. You know, I mean, otherwise, like, you know, they tell stories that a lot of people wouldn't really give a second chance to, and, you know, they're told by people that have interesting voices and tell them in interesting ways, so mm-hmm. the awards are always going to matter to me. Do I think that they're the de facto decisions for what wins, you know, or what's considered the best movie of the year? No, because I still don't think Green Book is the best movie of last year, <laughs> but you saw Into the Spider-Verse. It's not bad. It's Spider Verse better. <laughs> moving on. And moving on, but no, it's just these movies. You know, these award shows give us a chance to actually, you know, see something new, see some, see a different voice, mm-hmm. see something out there that's you know not the standard fare, and you know maybe give it a chance. So that's why I do the show. That's why I get geeky about it every year. It's why I get excited, and you know, if, for those. I mean, I didn't have my award show last year. You guys would have heard me like just freaking going off on Roma for God knows how long. Um, God, that movie. Um, but yeah, that was... Um, <clears throat> this is why I love the awards every year. This is why I do this show. This is why I have fun with it. And God bless you for being here for our first episode. Um, all right, I'm um, seeing a low battery on my monitor sign here. Yeah, we gotta go. So we'll wrap this up. And uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, is there something you wanted to tell them? Uh, is it? Um, uh, the, the quote of the oh, night. Oh, yes, the quote of the night. Thank you, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Ah, this guy was, well, guy was on fire like he is every night. Um, so, yes, from us of four Midwest guys, from myself, John, and my lovely wife, Steph. Mm. Um, in, the word, <laughs> in the words of the great Ricky Gervais, get drunk, take your drugs, off. Good night. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.